Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the author, Andrew Snorton. And uh, we're starting a little bit early because you know how technology can be. So you know when everything's moving real fluidly, you want to go ahead and ride with it. But this is the Fast 15. This is the weekly midday, midweek chat that we do each and every Wednesday, one exception, but each and every Wednesday at 106 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we're starting a little bit early today um, just to make sure people have enough of an opportunity to kind of pause, check up, check in, make sure people are doing as well as possible, enjoy a short reading from one of the books and or audio books. Close out with a couple of simple announcements, how you can continue to engage and connect with me and close out on as positive a note as possible during our now normal. So I appreciate everybody taking time out to join me today. So first, as we know, during the now normal, we've kind of been, I guess, full speed ahead with everything really since about February, about March. But we know that there are some people that are still dealing with some challenges. There's still people that might be dealing with, you know, job situations, uh, you know, family complications, you know, individual challenges based on, like I said before, job or health. I'm aware of a couple, you know, friends and associates who have had deaths in the family. So prayers, encouragement, and condolences to anybody, whether it's been the last day or two, um, or, you know, just at any time, because sometimes with these types of, you know, tense times are going on, it can aggravate, you know, a lot of situations. Please be aware, do what you need to, to get the help you need to take time and kind of pause. So whether informal or formal, we know informal means can range from journaling to picking up another hobby, you know, cooking, doing some work in the yard. Um, for some people, it's music, put the headphones on, you know, exercise is always good, looking at your diet, taking a walk in the park, uh, bike riding, things along those lines. So as the clock strikes one o'clock, <laughs> let you know that we're on a little bit early today. Um, for those, again, try to seek out some of those informal means just to be able to decompress as best as you can. And then again, don't be afraid to look for formal help. So through uh, your medical professionals, um, dietitians, people who are doing fitness, you know, yoga, uh, things along those lines, you know, mental health. If you see that there's some things are really getting out of hand, please seek out the formal and informal help you need. So hopefully if there's anyone out there that's dealing with those types of challenges, you know, please take whatever moment you can to pause and seek out the help you know that you need. There's no shame to ask for help. All of us to varying degrees have gotten help, you know, formal and informal, professional and otherwise. So don't be afraid to do so. You know, on the um, similar end, we know it's an election year. Again, we will we won't overstress it, but we're gonna stress it enough. Please, number one, if you're 18 or older, please check your voting status. You know, whether you do it online or go to your voter registration office, for some of you, based on the state you live in, when you renew your driver's license, they ask, do you want to get registered to vote? Please, 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 one date that I'll ask you to keep in mind is October 5th. That's the last day for you to register in order to participate in this year's elections, whether it's at the local level, the state level or the national slash federal level. So please don't, you know, get caught up in, you know, this and that and blah, 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 and going back and forth. And then October 5th comes, <clears throat> excuse me, and you realize you're not registered to vote. I know I am, but I still don't check. Um, so please make sure to check your voter registration status. Please also check all of your voting options. It's been well documented. There's a little bit of question regarding United States Postal Service. Uh, to put it real simply, some of the things that are going on at the highest levels of government regarding the Postal Service should not be taking place. It's actually a violation of the Constitution. Hint, hint. So um, please check all of your options from your absentee ballot. Please, you know, check on that if that's what you're going to pursue. Some, some states actually have um, drop-off boxes specifically for 
absentee ballots so it gets to the voting office and it gets counted. So check on those options. Check on your early voting options. Obviously, make sure you're wearing a mask and all those precautions. And check your regular options. But please be aware of all your options. So during this time period for the rest of the month of August and all the month of September, get all that squared away because once October 5th comes and you're like, oh my goodness, it'll be too late. Um, you know, some definite positives. We know that there are a number of people that are doing well. Some people have been able to, you know, change jobs. Some people have been able to start their own businesses, work on their own projects, not only through the lens of professional, but community. So we want to tip our cap. Well, in this case, my advisor and commend those people who are still out and about, you know, good stewards, outreach, things along those lines. If you're doing something constructive, continue to build and bring other people along. And like I said earlier, for those that are dealing with some challenges and there are, you know, a number that we haven't gotten into in regards to some of the dynamics, not only K through 12. So shouts to the faculty, staff and administration. They're out there on the front line. Hopefully there are more things put in place for you and more options that are available for you to get the instruction done, but to be safe and what have you. And if there's some things that are taking place that are jeopardizing your safety, please do what you can to speak up and speak out and also connect with those who can help advocate for you. Um, but again, and that same goes on the college level. I've got two family members at least that I know are either back at college or getting ready to go. I know a number of friends and associates have that happening. We've seen some of the outbreaks that have taken place like at UNC Chapel Hill, Notre Dame and others. My hope is if there is a real protocol in place, follow it as best as possible. But if that protocol isn't working, get those folks back home. <laughs> so we keep it that simple. So um, those are just a few of the things just to kind of acknowledge, like you've got, we do have to take time to acknowledge some things that aren't going well because to not talk about it is, is, you know, irresponsible. But in order to provide balance, there are things that are going well. There are positives taking place and we need to make sure we speak to those. So having said all that, we're going to go ahead and pivot into our reading for the day. This comes from the newest release. So this is for the folks on Instagram. Um, we're pulling some more from Nothing Minor, the 2019 summer journey covering minor league baseball. And thanks to Emery Rose Photography for their contributions um, for the coverage that was done um, the second time that we were at Gwinnett last year, as well as Chattanooga. And the chapter that I'm going to pull from is from chapter da, 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 chapter four, Galvanning with the Grasshoppers. So this is based on my time uh, up in Greensboro, North Carolina. So shouts to friends and associates and family up in the triad. So um, um, in the chapter, I did make sure to shout and acknowledge a couple of uh, places, a couple of entities. So I did make sure to shout the alma mater had to Wake Forest University, which is down the road in Winston, about a 35 minute drive from Greensboro. But I made sure to acknowledge those schools um, that are on uh, West and East Market Street. So shouts to my friends and associates who have spent time and are alums of UNC Greensboro, as well as North Carolina A&T. And um, one place I definitely made, to made sure to shout, well, there's a couple spots I made sure to shout in the beginning of this chapter because that area is a favorite space and place of mine. So shouts to the folks at Dame's Chicken and Waffles. They have a location in Durham, haven't been to the one in Durham, but Greensboro on point. So shouts to them, shouts to the International Civil Rights Center in a museum, which is the old Woolworths, where the original sit-ins took place. So when that reopens, please take advantage of going there. And I had to give shouts to, you know, Winston-Salem, obviously Wake, um, the teams that are out there that I wasn't able to get to, so the Winston-Salem Dash, and uh, High Point, uh, as they have an independent league team. So shouts to all those teams, and hopefully for 2021, hopefully when everything calms down, we can definitely take advantage of minor league ball as well as um, independent baseball. But one of the quotes I really wanted to um, focus on, let me see if I can find it. Um, Oh, yes. Yeah. So this is uh, from the interview I did was with Josh Davis, who is a player for the Greensboro Grasshoppers, which is a single A affiliate of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And I'm going to read this quote that he has, which as he was a recent college graduate, actually he graduated from uh, Cal Berkeley. And um, 
this was his first full year of professional ball, a, uh, a ball, but he said something that really gives a lot of perspective. And it's not only applicable to the game of baseball, but definitely applicable to other things. So I'm going to read this. He said, and even with failure, there's perspective. He adds, you're not going to get a hit, parentheses, or a home run every time or as a pitcher strike every batter out. You're going to go on cold streaks, but the main thing is to stay positive and know that hit or strikeout is going to come. Once you feel it one time, your confidence comes back, and the next thing you know, you're going to play the way you want to play. Now, that's some great perspective from a person a year removed out of college. And as people are aware in baseball, it is based, you know, a game of percentages. NT Works out in South Kakalak, how you doing? It is um, – I mean, most times you're going to make an out versus making a hit. But the thing is, he made a really good point, And I'm going to repeat this one more time. You're going to go on cold streaks. And I think all of us know what that means. Sometimes we're not in a good rhythm with our jobs. Sometimes we're not in a good rhythm with our projects. For fellow authors out there, you know, at times writing doesn't always come easy. So there's going to be times you go on cold streaks. But here's something he said. But the main thing is to stay positive and know that hit or strikeout is going to come. And it reminds me of something we said before, just because you're in a certain situation, it doesn't mean you're always going to be there. So that's real important, that parallel from what he talked about being successful in baseball, which we can apply in the other areas. Once you feel it one time, your confidence comes back. And the next thing you know, you're going to play the way you want to play. I think that's very powerful. Once you kind of get your mojo back and get into that rhythm, I think all of us can attest, we've all had, you know, some times where things have not been all that fluid. But once we kind of regain that and we get back on track and then to take it to another level, we remind ourselves of who we are and whose we are, what we're capable of doing, what we've been led through, those types of things. It builds on that. So just like success breeds success or the way you think, you know, manifests itself, those are definite things to take from. So Josh Davis, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wherever you are, I hope you are safe and sound and prepping for the 2021 season. And that selection was from Nothing Minor. This is the new hard book, Nothing Minor, the 2019 journey covering minor league baseball. So I hope that quote from Josh helps somebody out there just, you know, sometimes you're out of sync. Sometimes things don't always go as fluidly as possible. But once you have that breakthrough and you build off of that and you feed off of that, there's so many pauses that can come from it. So just a couple of quick notes before we get ready to wind down today's talk. Um, future times to get connected with yours truly. This coming Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, join me and Tyress Satai for our next edition of All About the Authors. We do this chat every second well, really, Authors Roundtable every second and fourth Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Zoom, and I rebroadcast it on my Facebook Live, which is author Andrew Snorton, and then share it. We've had some great authors since we started doing this in March, so if there's an author out there that's watching NT Works um, <laughs> and anyone else or any authors that you recommend that we want to chat with to talk about our books and things along those lines, please get in contact with me and I'll leave my contact info at the end. So that's um, all about the authors, which will be this coming Sunday, August 23rd at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check us out on Zoom and we'll drop the info later today and check us out on Facebook Live on my Facebook page, author Andrew Snorton. The next time we'll do the Fast 15 will be about this time next Wednesday. You can view it here on Facebook Live at author Andrew Snorton. Uh, you can also join us on Zoom. And for those of you that follow me on Instagram, author A. Snorton, where you can catch it. Um, the Conversation Corner, that's the next full television show that I have on the Status Network. That airs every second and fourth Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll drop the uh, guests of uh, this weekend, but make sure to check that out on statusnetwork.net. And when you go on the website, the big old box, check the box for Conversation Corner and you'll get the text alerts when not only we air live, but any of the archival shows, things of that nature. If you have room on your smartphone, download the app for the Status Network, uh, add Status Network and Live TV, L-Y-V-E, Live TV on your social media platforms, Facebook, Periscope, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, 
Uh, for those of you that have Roku and Amazon Fire Stick, make sure to watch the show there. And you can also watch it on my Facebook Live, uh, author Andrew Snorton. Uh, the next book signing. So I'm going to get back on the saddle. August 29th from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. Check me out at Young, Gifted, and Black Children's Bookstore and Workshop that's located in Stone Mountain, Georgia. That'll be from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. I'll have um, the book that we read from today, Nothing Minor, which looks at uh, the coverage done in the 2019 minor league baseball season. I'll also have copies of the other books, uh, Deeper Than Your Deepest Sleep, Thoughts on Love of Joseph Snorton, um, which is for you or somebody you know who's a poetry fan, as well as Nine Stories of Faith, Volume 1, which is probably going to be a good read for folks who are dealing with something each and every day, but the people who I interviewed open up about how through um, their faith, best practices with health and wellness, how they've incorporated their support network and how they've changed their way of thinking to still make sure to live lives of power and purpose. Uh, we will ask that for the book signing, please break out your masks. Uh, please, if you're going to, you know, for any purchases, uh, be prepared, PayPal, Cash App. Uh, the bookstore does not take any cash, so you need to make sure you have your uh, debit card or, uh, or credit card. And um, if we have too many people in the bookstore, we'll probably it'll accommodate up to 10 people at once. But if there's more than 10, we'll ask you to wait outside and practice proper social distancing. So those are some of the main things. So um, in closing, as a reminder to stay connected with me, Facebook, author Andrew Snorton, A-U-T-H-O-R, author Andrew Snorton, go ahead and add that. Instagram, Twitter, author A. Snorton, YouTube, author A. Snorton. And make sure on YouTube to check out the playlist under the author A. Snorton YouTube channel. It's a lot of stuff out there from the Conversation Corner shows um, to different virtual events and what have you. So make sure to check those out. Share the info with you know your friends, associates, whether they're fans of reading or if this is all they wanna do for this quick 15 minute or so time just to be able to decompress, that's fine by me. It helps me out. It's not me with all this mighty stuff, it's like this helps me to kind of pause and slow things down because every once in a while I get out of sync. I mean, it's true. I mean, we all don't always have it all together. So hopefully this is helping you as much as it's helping me. Um, in closing, I will just say this. Number one, please remain encouraged. Yes, there are some shenanigans going on across the board from what we see on a bigger picture to what's happening you know, on smaller pictures, but please stay encouraged, stay motivated. Um, take your times to pause and decompress. Even during the work day, for those of you that are commuting or you're teleworking or what have you, it's okay to take that quick five minutes to walk away from the laptop or unplug the phone or just get a breath of fresh air. Please do that. Even just taking that quick momentary pause can probably just help you regroup and rebuild. I know it's helping me given some of the moving parts that I've got going on. So please take advantage of those things. Um, don't be afraid to ask for help. So thank you to everybody who's taken time to support me. Um, like I said, Emery Rose Photography, awesome work with, with the book. Everybody that's reached out to me regarding, um, you know, copies of all the books, the audio books that have dropped, uh, the merch. So you see the bracelets, the bracelets right here, black and old gold. Mm -hmm. But there's other color combos too. I got the red and white, red and white, and then the blue and gold, blue and gold. And there's other combos I'm working on. But um, thank you to everybody who's taking time to encourage and support me. I don't take that lightly. And um, like I said, just to close out, you know, none of us will be able to do everything, but there's always something that we can do. And as long as you're committed to doing something constructive, to the best of your ability. Build off of that and keep it going. And even, you know, when everything isn't going exactly your way, you can still be a resource to somebody. I've, I've said that before. Um, dang, I remember saying that before when um, in the early part of the last decade, I was acknowledged by, I remember it was, it was the Stone Mountain Decatur chapter of Phi Beta Sigma, Journey Incorporated, gave me a um, a community service award. And I had some stuff going on. I mean, I'll just be blunt. I had some things um, personally going on and, and some people can 
understand like a year later when that particular contract gets snip, 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 and that particular piece of jewelry gets, you know, turned away. But um, I remember saying something to the effect that people think they have to be perfect or near perfect in order to make an impact. But even then, and just like even now, everything doesn't have to be perfect with you. And those are probably the times that are best for you to see what you can do for others. Because when you take notes and you see what other people are dealing with, it keeps your challenges, as we read today, in perspective. So do what you can to keep it in perspective. And whether slow or swift, movement is movement. And um, just keep moving forward. So until next time, I pray and trust and hope that you, your families, friends, loved ones, communities be as safe and successful as possible. I look forward to seeing y'all when we do the All About the Authors next Sunday. Look forward to seeing you again here for our Fast 15. That Yeah, we did for about 15, 20 minutes. Looking forward to seeing you all um, next Wednesday for that, as well as the full television show, The Conversation Corner. And for those of you in Metro Atlanta, Stone Mountain, Georgia, for Young, Gifted, and Black uh, Children's Books and Workshop. Join me on August 29th from 3.30 to 5.30 for the next book signing. So until then, all of you take good care, be of good cheer, continue to be encouraged, and we will see you real soon.